For hundreds of years, intrepid explorers searched for the fabled Northwest Passage, a sea route to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. In 1845, a British expedition led by Captain John Franklin set sail for the frozen North. Instead, Franklin and his crew vanished without a trace. In maritime history, tales of ghost ships also known as phantom ships have haunted sailors for centuries, their eerie presence a testament to the mysteries of the sea. These spectral vessels, devoid of life, emerge from the mist as harbingers of the unknown. Whether abandoned or merely a figment of imagination, they continue to provoke speculation and fear. Join us as we delve into the lore of these enigmatic ships, exploring the 20 most mysterious tales to ever grace the waves. Number 20. The SS Valencia In 1906, the SS Valencia, a passenger steamer, met a heartbreaking fate off the coast of Vancouver, British Columbia, amidst treacherous weather conditions near Cape Mendocino. Despite valiant efforts to rescue the passengers and crew, only 37 individuals out of the 108 aboard survived the ordeal. Adding to the tragedy, one of the lifeboats inexplicably vanished during the chaos. The sinking of the SS Valencia has since become shrouded in eerie tales of ghostly apparitions. Fishermen and sailors have recounted sightings of the ghost ship over the years, with some even claiming to have witnessed human skeletons haunting its decks. These haunting reports have persisted for decades, lending a mystique to the tragic event. Nevertheless, the disaster spurred significant changes in maritime safety regulations, benefiting seafarers profoundly. It underscored the pressing need for enhanced navigational aids and emergency protocols for ships navigating the perilous coastal waters. Consequently, measures such as the establishment of lifehouses and the upgrade of radio communication systems were implemented to bolster safety at sea. The SS Valencia tragedy thus catalyzed advancements in maritime safety measures that endure to this day, safeguarding and supporting seafarers across the globe. Number 19. The MV Joyita the vanishing of the MV Joyita in October 1955 continues to baffle maritime enthusiasts as one of the most perplexing mysteries at sea. This American merchant vessel was found adrift, devoid of any passengers or crew, sparking immediate intrigue into their whereabouts. Despite the ship's dilapidated state, its buoyancy remained intact, rendering the possibility of sinking highly improbable. Investigations into why the crew abandoned the vessel instead of awaiting assistance yielded no definitive answers. The MV Joyita boasted a rich history, having undergone several modifications and serving in the United States Navy during World War II. Nonetheless, the circumstances surrounding its disappearance remained shrouded in enigma. Despite exhaustive search efforts, no trace of the passengers or crew surfaced until another ship stumbled upon the Joyita adrift, partially submerged and heavily listing. Shockingly, the missing individuals and a substantial portion of the cargo were nowhere to be found. Numerous theories and speculations have emerged over the years, ranging from piracy to foul play. However, the truth regarding the fate of the ship and its occupants remains elusive, leaving this maritime enigma unresolved. Number 18. MV Lyubov Orlova. Imagine pouring your heart and soul into something, only to be met with relentless challenges and disappointment at every turn. For the creators of this ill-fated vessel, that's precisely the ordeal they faced. Intended to withstand formidable ice packs and traverse the world's oceans, this ship, crafted for the Soviet Union, held lofty aspirations. However, from its inception, it seemed cursed destined never to realize its full potential. Created in 1975, this gleaming ocean liner quickly descended into a saga of misfortune. By 2006, it found itself grounded, a harbinger of the trials to come. Seized due to unpaid debts, it languished in a Canadian dock, its once grandeur fading into obscurity. As if that weren't enough, its journey to a new home was fraught with calamity, marked by multiple separations from towboats and encounters with relentless adversity. But the ship's woes didn't end there. Infested with cannibal rats, it earned a reputation as a floating ghost ship, haunted by the specters of its troubled past. 
Despite efforts to reclaim it, this vessel remains adrift, a symbol of dashed dreams and the relentless grip of fate. Its current whereabouts remain a mystery, a poignant reminder of the perils that await those who dare to defy the sea's unforgiving embrace. Number 17. 19th Century Shipwreck Abandoned ships often surface unexpectedly, given the vastness of the oceans. Take, for instance, an incident in 2019 when the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration planned specialized testing in the Gulf of Mexico using underwater drones. Imagine their surprise when, amidst their underwater exploration, they stumbled upon a shipwreck dating back to the 19th century. This unexpected discovery prompted an immediate shift in operations as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration swiftly redirected their focus to investigate the historic wreck. Harnessing the power of telepresence technology, they quickly mobilized marine archaeologists from across the country. Through a flurry of phone calls and emails, experts tuned in to live video feeds from the seafloor, virtually joining the dive in real time. The sunken vessel, spanning over 100 feet, boasted a remarkable composition of materials, offering a tantalizing glimpse into maritime history. Number 16. HMS Resolute In 1854, the British Royal Navy cruiser HMS Resolute was found abandoned and adrift off the coast of Baffin Island in the Canadian Arctic. Dispatched in search of Sir John Franklin's lost expedition, it met a tragic fate akin to Franklin's own journey trapped in ice and deserted by its crew. The discovery of the ship in 1855 sent chills through those who stumbled upon it. Frozen in time, the captain's quarters held a teapot, Bible, and glasses of liquor, with a British flag draped over Captain Kellett's chair. Despite the eerie scene, HMS Resolute was salvaged and decommissioned in 1879. However, the story didn't end there. Its timbers were used to construct the Resolute Desk, an iconic piece of furniture in the Oval Office since the 19th century. Crafted from the ship's wood, it symbolizes the enduring friendship between the United States and the United Kingdom. Number 15. S.S. Mahino Between 1905 and 1935, the S.S. Mahino was a proud ocean liner stationed in New Zealand. Weighing a formidable 5,000 tons, it accommodated up to 420 passengers and boasted a remarkable top speed of 17.5 knots. With modern conveniences like electricity and advanced safety features, the SS Mahino set the standard for luxury travel of its time. When World War I erupted in 1914, the SS Mahino was requisitioned for military service, transformed into a hospital ship with eight wards and two operating theaters. It played a vital role in providing medical aid during the Gallipoli campaign and later in the English Channel for the Western Front. After the war, the SS Mahino resumed its commercial operations, traversing New Zealand waters until its retirement in 1935. Sold to a Japanese breaker's yard, it embarked on a final journey undertow by another vessel. However, Fate intervened. Caught in a cyclone during transit, the SS Mahino was separated from its towing ship, drifting helplessly into the ocean's vast expanse. Three days later, it was discovered washed ashore off Fraser Island, Australia. Efforts to salvage the vessel proved unsuccessful. Stripped of its fittings, the SS Mahino remained stranded on the shore, a silent witness to its own demise. Despite attempts to find a buyer, no one stepped forward leaving the once grand liner to slowly deteriorate. A poignant reminder of its illustrious past and the merciless power of nature. Number 14. The SS Cotopaxi The mysterious disappearance of the 253-foot-long SS Cotopaxi in 1925 sparked widespread speculation, with many attributing it to the Bermuda Triangle. However, after 95 years of myths and cinematic portrayals suggesting extraterrestrial involvement, the truth behind the vessel's fate was finally revealed. The coal-carrying ship, with 32 crew members aboard, vanished during its routine voyage between Charleston, South Carolina, and Havana, Cuba. While it was initially believed to have sunk and later washed ashore near St. Augustine, Florida, marine biologist Barnett's determined investigation uncovered a different reality. After 93 years, 
Barnett and his diving partner rediscovered the wreck of the SS Cotopaxi lying 35 miles off the shore of St. Augustine, Florida. Contrary to folklore, the vessel was not found in the Gobi Desert, but rather off the coast of Florida. Through the recovery of old pieces of coal and collaboration with a ship construction veteran, Barnett confirmed the ship's identity. Further analysis of the ship's coordinates revealed that instead of the Bermuda Triangle, the SS Cotopaxi met its demise just 20 miles off the St. Augustine shore, succumbing to a violent storm. This discovery brought closure to the families of those lost aboard the ship, ending years of uncertainty. Number 13. SS Bechimo The SS Bechimo, a cargo steamer hailing from Sweden and created in 1914, embarked on a journey both fascinating and mysterious. While navigating the icy waters of Alaska in 1931, the vessel encountered a chilling predicament. Trapped in ice, the crew evacuated until conditions improved. However, fate had other plans. Breaking free from its moorings, the Bechamo drifted away, ultimately found 116 kilometers from its original position. Though salvageable cargo was retrieved, the ship was deemed unfit for further use and abandoned once more. In the years that followed, the Bechamo continued to haunt the imaginations of those who crossed its path. Appearing as a spectral apparition, it silently glided across the waves, devoid of crew or cargo save for a pile of decaying furs. Eerie sightings persisted, culminating in the last confirmed sighting in March 1962, ensnared once again in ice. Despite extensive search efforts, the ship vanished without a trace, leaving its ultimate fate shrouded in uncertainty. The legend of the SS Baichimo has woven itself into maritime lore, inspiring countless tales and legends. Some speculate that it still roams the Arctic waters, awaiting rediscovery. Its mysterious voyages serve as a chilling reminder of the unforgiving nature of the Arctic Sea, encapsulating the essence of maritime ghostliness and the enduring allure of the unknown. Number 12. The SS Oregon Prepare yourself for another tale of ill-fated maritime misfortune. The story of the SS Oregon. Once hailed as the fastest ocean liner in the Atlantic, this vessel epitomized both speed and reliability. However, tragedy struck when it collided with another ship, whose identity remains shrouded in mystery. In the aftermath of the collision, the captain and crew faced a dire situation as water inundated the stricken vessel. Despite valiant efforts to stem the flow, their attempts proved futile. With no other recourse, the captain made the difficult decision to abandon ship. Miraculously, another vessel came to their aid, ensuring the safe rescue of all passengers and crew. While the SS Oregon met its untimely end at the bottom of the sea, its legacy lives on as a popular dive site in Long Island Sound. Divers can explore the wreckage and catch glimpses of its larger components, such as the engine, which still bear witness to the ship's tragic demise. Though its voyage ended in disaster, the SS Oregon serves as a poignant reminder of the perils of the sea and the resilience of those who sail upon it. Number 11. Myanmar Coast's Ghost Ship The mystery shrouding the ghost ship found off the coast of Myanmar's Yangon region has been solved by local authorities. After a prompt investigation by Myanmar officials and Navy personnel, the truth behind the Sam Ratulangi PB-1600 vessel's fate emerged. It was revealed that the sizable container ship, worn by weather and abandoned, had been towed by a tugboat destined for a ship-breaking facility in Bangladesh. However, adverse weather conditions compelled the crew to abandon ship during the journey. As it grounded on a beach, authorities and Navy personnel boarded to search for clues. The sight of such a massive ship, devoid of crew or cargo, puzzled police and observers alike. Yet the revelation of its intended destination provided clarity on its journey and why it had drifted off Myanmar's coast. While the ship's sudden appearance initially sparked confusion, the investigation brought forth a clear explanation. Shipbreaking, a process of dismantling decommissioned ships for materials, is common practice. Bangladesh, being a key player in this industry, hosts numerous shipbreaking yards along its coast. These yards are vital to the local economy, but also raise concerns about worker safety and environmental impact. Thus, while the discovery of the Sam Ratulangi PB-1600 initially perplexed observers, 
It ultimately shed light on the intricate workings and challenges of the maritime industry, particularly in shipbreaking. Number 10. The Lady Lovabond The legend of the Lady Lovabond, a famed schooner, has intrigued storytellers for generations, though its true origins remain elusive. According to the tale, on February 13, 1748, the Lady Lovabond met a tragic fate, wrecking upon the treacherous Goodwin Sands off the coast of Kent, England. Captain Simon Reed, also known as Simon Peel, was said to have celebrated his recent marriage by embarking on a cruise aboard the Lady Lovabond, with his new wife Annetta aboard, despite superstitions against having women on board. However, jealousy among the crew, particularly from the first mate John Rivers, allegedly led to a violent altercation resulting in the ship's demise. Over the years, sightings of the spectral Lady Lovabond have been reported, often on the anniversary of the supposed sinking. Witnesses aboard various vessels, including the Eden Bridge and a fishing smack, claim to have encountered the ghostly vessel in 1798 and 1948, respectively. However, no sightings were reported in 1998. The Goodwin Sands, infamous for their association with ghost ships, have long been steeped in maritime lore. Some researchers cast doubt on the authenticity of the Lady Lovabond story, suggesting it may have been a fabrication or confused with another shipwreck. They propose that the tale may have been invented, perhaps for sensational storytelling purposes. Despite its uncertain origins, the legend of the Lady Lovabond remains intertwined with the concept of the phantom ship, symbolizing the mysterious and supernatural events that haunt the sea. Number 9. Wooden Ship Underground Picture embarking on a routine excavation around your home, or a once iconic building, anticipating uncovering relics of the past. Yet what you unearth surpasses imagination. A fully intact ship buried beneath the former World Trade Center. This isn't a tale of fiction, but a remarkable true story that unfolded during the construction of One World Trade Center following the tragic events of 9-11. As construction crews dug deep to strengthen the building's foundation, they stumbled upon a wooden ship its timbers tracing back to 1773. This vessel, crafted from timber sourced from ancient forests in southern Pennsylvania, held a history beyond comprehension. How did this relic from centuries past end up entombed beneath a modern skyscraper? It's believed that decades after its construction, the ship was abandoned at a bustling port. Over time, the port transformed into a landfill, a victim of New York City's ever-expanding urban sprawl. Eventually, the World Trade Center was erected atop this forgotten vessel, sealing its fate beneath layers of concrete and steel. Number 8. The Kobenhaven The Kobenhaven, a majestic Danish five-masted bark, stood as a testament to maritime engineering prowess. Crafted by Ramage and Ferguson in Leith, Scotland, and commissioned by the Danish East Asiatic Company, it served as a sail training ship, symbolizing maritime excellence upon its completion in 1921. With dimensions of 131 meters in length and a deck spanning 119 meters, the Copenhagen boasted a capacity of 5,200 tons, making it the world's largest sailing vessel at the time. Its five towering masts, reaching 60 meters above the keel, supported a vast sail area of 5,202 square meters while a striking figurehead depicting Bishop Absalon adorned its bow. Equipped with modern amenities like an auxiliary diesel motor, wireless transmitter, electric lighting, and two Bollinger engines for the ballast pump, the Copenhagen was a marvel of its era. Its crew, comprising a schoolmaster, doctor, officers, and trainee cadets, shared a common goal of seafaring excellence. However, tragedy struck on December 21, 1928 as the Copenhagen vanished during a journey from Buenos Aires to Australia. Despite extensive search efforts and various speculations, including encounters with extreme weather or uncharted reefs, the ship and its crew were never found. The mystery surrounding the Copenhagen's disappearance continues to captivate maritime enthusiasts worldwide. While numerous theories have emerged, the fate of the vessel and its brave crew remains unknown perpetuating the allure of the sea's mysteries and the enigmatic legacy of the Copenhagen. Number 7. 
USS Phenakite. Meet the USS Phenakite, a vessel with a name as peculiar as its history. Originally serving as a yacht, this ship took an unexpected turn when it was acquired by the U.S. Navy for service in both World War I and World War II. Quite the departure from its leisurely beginnings, wouldn't you say? But the surprises don't end there. The USS Fenakite underwent a series of name changes and transformations, even finding itself under the ownership of none other than Thomas Edison himself, all in pursuit of developing countermeasures against German U-boats. Talk about an eclectic journey. After years of dutiful service, the USS Fenakite found itself in the hands of Robert Miller, who acquired it for a steal in those days. With remarkable efficiency, Miller transformed it back into a yacht in just 10 days. He enjoyed a few voyages with it before eventually mooring it in Taylor Creek near his property. Here's where the plot thickens. Rather than investing further in its upkeep, Miller opted to leave the ship to its own devices, allowing it to succumb to the ravages of time. And so, the USS Phenakite transformed from a vessel of purpose to a haunting specter of neglect. Over time, nature reclaimed its territory, and the derelict ship became a curious attraction, earning the moniker of the Ghost Ship. And thus, we have a ghost ship tale unlike any other, where the unexpected twists and turns rival even the spookiest of legends. Number 6. The Edmund Fitzgerald Shipwreck while the Titanic holds a prominent place in cultural memory, the Edmund Fitzgerald, a massive ship overshadowed by its more famous counterpart, narrates a tragic chapter in maritime history. Operating with commendable efficiency for eight years, the over 300-yard-wide vessel transported smaller ships for various companies, earning praise from its producers. Despite previous incidents, including running aground and collisions, none foreshadowed the Edmund Fitzgerald's ultimate demise, Laden with iron pellets, it set sail from Superior, Wisconsin near Duluth on November 9, 1975, bound for a steel mill near Detroit. Joined by the SS Arthur M. Anderson, its fate was sealed when it encountered a fierce storm the following day, sinking in Canadian waters of Lake Superior, approximately 17 miles from Whitefish Bay. The tragedy claimed the lives of all 29 crew members, adding to the lore of the Whitefish Point area known for claiming nearly 300 vessels. Speculation surrounding the crash inspired movies and Gordon Lightfoot's ballad, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Edmund Fitzgerald's remains were first discovered four days later by a U.S. Navy Lockheed P-3 Orion aircraft, with subsequent expeditions shedding further light on the tragedy. Before we move on, here's today's subscriber's pick. Take a look at this picture. Set against the backdrop of Cuba's coastline, a mysterious tale unfolds, gripping the hearts of locals on a particularly eerie night. Suddenly, emerging from the darkness, a spectral ship materializes, defying the tumultuous weather with an unsettling calmness. Its ancient visage sparks curiosity and fear in equal measure, leaving all who witness it bewildered. And just as swiftly as it appeared, it vanishes into the mist, leaving only a trail of unanswered questions. But here's where the plot thickens, delving into the archives of local legends, an astonishing revelation surfaces. Exactly four centuries prior, a vessel embarked from Cuban shores, never to be seen again. Could this ethereal apparition be the ghostly reincarnation of that ill-fated voyage, returning to haunt its anniversary in a spine-chilling spectacle? Share your thoughts and speculations below. Let's piece together this enigma as a community. Number 5. Perfectly Preserved Shipwreck Found in Lake Superior On the quiet night of May 1884, crewmen aboard the J.S. Severns, a 130-foot cargo ship, diligently unloaded food and supplies at the small port of Michigan. Situated northeast of the coast of Lake Superior, this port served as the designated location for the Canadian Pacific Railway's goods and supplies. Once the task was completed, the crew reboarded the ship, ready to sail away. However, their journey was abruptly interrupted when the vessel struck a submerged rock, tearing a sizable hole in its hull. Despite the dire situation, all 15 crew members and 45 passengers managed to evacuate safely as the ship began to slowly sink into the depths below. The fate of the J.S. Severns seemed sealed, 
until another team stumbled upon the vessel later that same year, seemingly intact at the bottom of the lake. It wasn't until many years later that researcher Fountain confirmed the wreck's identity as the J.S. Severns. Utilizing innovative sonar technology, divers were able to locate and explore the wreck. Their findings revealed that the ship had sunk smoothly under calm weather conditions, with flooding being the sole cause of its demise. Contrary to speculation, no violent storm had contributed to its sinking, which explained why the ship remained remarkably intact when discovered. Number 4. The MV Captianus Shipwreck In a harrowing turn of events, a Greek sugar-carrying ship found itself battling a ferocious storm as it awaited unloading at the James Watt Dock in Greenock. As the winds intensified, the vessel began to drift, dragging its anchor behind it. Despite efforts to steer clear, fate intervened, and the ship collided with the taut anchor chains of a nearby BP tanker, the British Light. The impact ruptured the ship's hull below the waterline, leading to a rush of water flooding in. With the situation growing increasingly dire, the captain of the ship, the Captainis, made the difficult decision to beach her in shallow waters to prevent her from sinking completely. With the assistance of other boats, the crew and cargo were safely evacuated before the vessel settled on its side, where it remains to this day. Since its fateful sinking in 1974, the Captainis has become a permanent fixture in the waters, serving as a habitat for birds and other wildlife. Despite its tragic end, the ship now rests peacefully, a testament to the resilience of nature amidst the ever-changing tides of the sea. Number 3. La Famille Express Shipwreck Originally known as the Fort Shevanko during its service in the Soviet Navy, La Famille embarked on a storied journey that spanned over five decades. After faithfully serving the Soviet Navy for a significant portion of its life, La Famille was eventually sold off in 1999 and underwent a name change in 2004. The vessel's history dates back to 1953, when it began its service as an oil rig support ship, tasked with the challenging duty of transferring supplies to remote offshore oil wells. Enduring decades of rigorous operations, La Famille continued its relentless service until its decommissioning in 1999 marking 47 years of unwavering dedication. Despite its worn condition, the ship was rechristened as La Famille Express and hoisted the Panama flag, transitioning into a freighter ship primarily involved in transporting bulk cargo. However, tragedy struck in 2004 when Hurricane Francis altered the ship's course, leading to its eventual wrecking under reportedly suspicious circumstances. Today, La Famille rests partially submerged in shallow waters, its once bustling decks now silent beneath the gentle waves. Despite its demise, the site has transformed into a notable tourist attraction, drawing visitors who seek to witness the remnants of this maritime relic and unravel the mysteries surrounding its final voyage. Number 2. The Edward Bolin Shipwreck Few places in maritime history are as feared as the Skeleton Coast. Known for taking countless lives, this dry desert land is linked with sadness and tragedy. Sailors are scared of it because ships get lost in the moving sand and harsh sands on their way to the Atlantic Ocean. Every morning, thick fog covers the coast, reminding everyone of the many ships lost there. One of them was the Edward, which left Swakopmund for Table Bay in September 1909. Sadly, the ship got stuck in the sand and couldn't move because of the dense fog along Namibia's skeleton coast. Today, the once impressive 310-foot ship rests partly covered by sand, showing the dangers of the desert sea. Stranded in the empty land, it's now a home for jackals trying to escape the hot sun. As time passed, the desert moved closer to the ocean, covering the wreck and extending over a thousand feet beyond the shore. The Edward stands among other ship remains, all victims of the skeleton coast's dangers, some wrecks are near the water stuck in the sand, while others are damaged beyond recognition, scattered along the coastline. Despite the desolation, the skeleton coast reminds us of nature's immense power and the lives lost to its unforgiving grasp. Number 1. Demetrios Shipwreck The story of the Demetrios, a ship constructed in Denmark in 1950, 
is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Despite its modest size, the vessel was reputed to excel at its clandestine operations, which many whispered involved the smuggling of cigarettes between Turkey and Italy. Its small stature allowed it to navigate these illicit waters discreetly, evading detection and suspicion. Rumors abound regarding Demetrios's origins and its eventual fate on the sandy shores. Some claim that after being apprehended by authorities, the ship was deliberately set ablaze to erase any evidence of its unlawful activities. Others suggest a more natural demise, attributing the vessel's stranding to adverse weather conditions that repeatedly drove it into local waters until it ultimately found itself beached on the sands of Maltaki in 1981. Regardless of the circumstances that led to its final resting place, the Demetrios remains a silent sentinel on the beach, its weathered hull bearing witness to a tumultuous past. As waves lap against its rusting exterior, the ship stands as a testament to the mysteries of the sea and the secrets hidden within its depths. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.